welcome to Odono Hughes afternoon comedy uh, where laughter never stop because your sides are going to split up. Did you have any catastrophic gigs at early doors? I thought for a while it would be great if I'd be a compare. Yeah. And so I took over a club in Ealing and, we, and they all paid and came in and sat down, but none of the acts turned up. So I said, just get your money back on the way out. And then Jane was kind of cashing the float up and she says, it's, I've ended up with less money than I started with. And we, we had to think what, what had happened and what it was is that she realised she'd, she'd done concessions on the way in and suddenly everyone had, had decided they had got a job rather on the oh. way out. So <laughs> having got, yeah, I haven't got a job, so they got in for two quid and then got four quid on the way out. <laughs> we went back on the bus thinking there's got to be a better way of doing this. <laughs> Can you think of my, my spectacular death? I did a gig in a prison, and we were being walked across this yard to the chapel where the gig was going to be. And I asked the uh, warder, so what are most of the people in here for? He says, uh, most of them are uh, re-murderers, uh, as he said in his Scottish accent. I said, well, I, I think I can guess what a re-murderer is, but can you just, just yeah. for clarification? He said, oh, they, they've, they've murdered, they've done pain, and they've got out, and they've murdered again. <laughs> and I, Right, and they're in, <laughs> in the audience. Oh yeah, yeah, they're all in the, yeah. That's, so they were, yeah, so it was a, it was a, a, a bunch of re-murderers in the audience. And again, you think, well, what am I gonna say to these people, you know? Yeah. What, are you, what I wanna say is, oh, you psychos, <laughs> no, run away. <laughs> but I thought if I tried that, there's every chance I'd run to the back of the stage, I wouldn't be able to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually found what they, what they did laugh at is if you started to talk about um, anal sex, they found that hilarious. <laughs> the whole anal sex was really all they wanted to talk about. And I thought, I, I'm gonna stop now for, before they think they can take it any further. You know? <laughs> Have you ever said anything so controversial that... I was asked to do Wogan. Um, when Wogan went out at, uh, I think it was seven o'clock in the evening, it went out live, they said, you're, you're not going to do that routine about the, um, the donkey, are you? All it was is there'd been a, a, an air disaster. Part of the roof of the plane had, had peeled open yeah. at 35,000 feet, and a load of people had been, had been um, sucked out of the aeroplanes. It was a terrible thing. But the, the guy, the spokesman for the airline said, you're, don't worry, you're still more likely to die falling off a donkey than in an air, air disaster. And so I, I posited, I sort of set that out and then posited the question, how many times have you been on a donkey and been sucked off? And that was, um, <laughs> and that was the line they didn't want me to say at seven o'clock in the evening. And as soon as I said the words, I, I heard him, I hear, cue music, cue music, get up. And I, I didn't even say, thanks, you've been a great crowd. The, the band starts up, everything, you know, all, all, the, all the cameras were kind of turning away from me. <laughs> I get pulled off stage, you know, and, but uh, I still feel I'm glad I did that because otherwise to turn up to do a gig that's very important to you, if your face is on it, and then you're being told by someone who's never done what you do, yeah. the stuff that you should be doing tonight. Yeah. It doesn't make sense, why would you do that? It's, you know, I wouldn't tell a doctor what to prescribe someone with diabetes, although I would know, obviously, it's insulin. <laughs> Quite smart like that. 